Hi, this is Roger from Kanka Labs and in a previous uh, episode I sh briefly did mention that an isolation transformer like this one here uh, doesn't 100% isolate. Well, you know the probably the expression that a transformer galvanically isolates. That means for DC we cannot measure any resistance, perhaps in the giga ohm range, but uh, anyway, there is no no conducting connection between primary and secondary side, as you can see here on the multimeter set to ohms range. It's above 60 mic ohms. So for a DC current, there is no path from primary to secondary side. But uh, in a moment I will show you that there is very well a path uh, from primary to secondary for AC voltages. Uh, just hold on a second. So just to explain what uh, how the multimeter is now connected. First of all you can see I've set it to microamps AC voltage and the common now is connected to earth, to protective earth. And now here we have the primary side, here we have the secondary side, and you can see uh, the, the display now that is just um, something uh, of a stray electrical fields that get in, but it's below one microamp. And now we con connect uh, the, um, the red line with the secondary side and what do we get? 13 microamps flowing. Now how is that possible that we have, although this is a transformer and galvanically isolates, that current is flowing, AC current is flowing from the secondary side to protective earth. And now uh, therefore we uh, again have to take a piece of paper to explain. So let's take a look again at how everything was connected. We had our isolation transformer or any other transformer that's, that not only happens in what we saw, not only happens with isolation transformers. We have the uh, primary side connected to mains voltage and the secondary side without a, any load. So it was open circuit. We had our microamps AC or our multimeter set to microamps in AC mode and we had earth. Now what, how was the connection? One side of the multimeter was connected with earth. The uh, other, other side I tapped off one point of the secondary winding. Now you may wonder there cannot be any current flowing because we don't have a closed loop. Every side here or one side is open so apparently there cannot be any current flowing. And the reason why we did measure current is twofold. First of all you might know that um, from your mains voltage in, in a uh, classical electrical installation one side is connected to earth the other side is what's called the live wire or face in Germany. Um, but we still don't get a closed loop where current can flow because the, the right side of the multimeter still is open circuit. So the question is there must be one, at least one additional element where current flows from the live wire somehow to the secondary. And the reason is there is a stray capacitance between the primary and the secondary side. So we, we do not measure any DC resistance, at least not below one gig ohm, but we do have a small stray capacitor or capacitance here between primary winding and secondary winding. And now we can see how current can flow through the amps meter. It goes from one input from the live wire through the capacitor because a capacitor 
only blocks DC voltage but acts like a resistor to uh, AC voltages and now it goes its way. It already has arrived on the secondary side now through the amps meter and down to earth because the uh, the other side of the primary winding is also connected via the your electrical uh, installation to earth and that's how it was connected we had the uh, micro amps meter connected to earth and we to draw it correctly we would have the earth connection of your um, mains um, voltage here separate but earth is earth and they are connected in your house installation so that was the way how the current flows uh, and the the element is this capacitor here this stray capacitance between primary and secondary winding well, we did see the current was uh, not very large. I think it was uh, 13 microamps. And here in Europe, we have 50 hertz. So we even can uh, calculate uh, how large the capacitance is. And we will try to measure it in a minute. But uh, the question remains, can we get rid of these annoying currents because uh, this really has a meaning in, uh, in, um, as well in measurement situations as well as in, in practical application. <clears throat> These currents uh, are called uh, either compensating currents. Sorry that as a left-handed person you cannot you can see what I'm writing only after I'm ready or stray electric currents and um, imagine you have a two electrical devices both connected to mains both connected to earth and they both have these uh, stray capacitances and you will get these, um, these stray electric currents flowing between the two devices. And this can cause, for example, a hum in your uh, hi-fi stereo uh, equipment or um, if you connect, uh, for example, your uh, antenna. Uh, they are also earth connected, um, the outer layer of the coax cable. Uh, from your antenna installation is usually connected to earth. Uh, so you get um, really stray voltages and, and you can pick up hum wherever this, uh, where you ever, wherever you have transformers. Now, is there a way how you can rid of? Well, there are two ways. The simplest ways, try to reverse the plug uh, of your uh, mains cord. Uh, and um, quite often uh, you can at least uh, perhaps not get rid of the um, compensating currents, but you can uh, make them smaller. Uh, you just hear it in, in the loudspeaker of your, uh, of your radio of, or of your uh, stereo devices. And the better way is, especially when it comes to precision measurements, between primary and secondary side, you can put a metal foil as a shield. And if this metal foil is also connected to earth, then uh, it will shield the electrical field between the, not the magnetic field uh, that you need just that the transformer works but the electrical field that couples via this stray capacitor, you can get rid of them or make it um, many magnitudes smaller just by a uh, shield, by, an, by, by a metal foil between primary and secondary. And this uh, shield must be connected to earth. 
and uh, that's uh, why uh, very good isolation transformers do have this extra connection uh, for the uh, for the uh, shield between primary and secondary winding which uh, to, to get it to work must be connected to earth so um, quite an interesting effect for some or quite astonishing how current can flow um, from the live wire uh, through this stray capacitor down to earth and um, now let's see if we can measure the the uh, how large this capacitance is and compare it to what we could calculate from the measured current and the frequency that we know um, that is here at in Europe at our mains voltage. So the first thing we have to do when measuring the stray capacitance between primary and secondary side, we have to shorten out the primary and the secondary winder with I, which I did here with some uh, crop cables. Then we take our LCR meter or a standalone capacitance meter, whatever you want, and let's see what we get. We get something around 160 picofarad. Well, that doesn't sound much, but we'll do the math in a moment. If this uh, something around 160 picofarad can explain the current that we did measure. So let's uh, see again what voltages and currents and we had. We had our mains connection here in Germany, 230 volts AC at 50 Hertz. Now we had the capacitor, then the microamps meter and the lower side was connected via common earth. And now we just have measured, uh, we had 160 picofarad. Now um, a capacitor for AC voltages works kind of a resistor, only that we don't call it resistance but impedance. And the impedance of a pure capacitor is 1 on 2 pi times the frequency times the capacitance. Now let's put this in a calculator. We have 2 by 3.14, which is pi, times 50 hertz, times the measured around 160 picofarad, and let's take the inverse, and that is an um, impedance of a round 20 meg ohm, which is uh, valid for our 50 hertz. Now, uh, what current do we get through uh, at 230 volts uh, and an impedance of 20 meg ohms? Well, the current is according to Ohm's law, which is also valid for AC voltage, is the voltage divided by the, well, usually resistance. Here we take the impedance, and that is 230 volts divided by 20 meg ohms. And that gives us. surprise, surprise, 12 microamps. That's around what we have measured. So we have confirmed that the stray capacitance between primary and secondary side is responsible for the current of in the range here. Of course, the measurements are not very exact, but um, uh, it's, it's, uh, the values are quite near to what we calculate and what we measure. And the current of 12 microamps 
are flowing uh, from mains down to uh, earth is explained by the stray capacitance of around 160 picofarad here in uh, the uh, between the primary and secondary uh, winding of our transformer. So something not everybody knew beforehand and uh, for me when I first uh, when I first got this concept was uh, quite amazed how this explains a lot of effects that you get in uh, in precision measurement or simply uh, by your um, by either your uh, stereo equipment which can pick up um, hum through this uh, stray capacitances and the uh, stray electric currents uh, flowing here and uh, well if it was interesting for you please give it a big thumbs up and uh, stay tuned that was it for today thanks for watching bye from roger bye from kanka labs until next time